Hey, a lot of you have been asking about the recent storm and the, the, the concerning drought conditions. I'll just say this. It happened too late in the roundup of numbers to really factor into what we have here. We'll get an update next Thursday, but you can see 84% of California abnormally dry and only 16% in that red, which is extreme drought. Now, there's one more level of exceptional drought. That's a five out of five. Extreme is four out of five. So other states are doing much worse. But of course, we would need more rain and snow so that we don't move in that direction. And this is what we have today and through the weekend. Nice, clear, sunny skies. This is also up north, down south. No major fog issues to speak of, except for a few little pockets out toward the coast. So then our attention switches to frost occasionally. If you leave your car out overnight and it gets cold enough, you might get some frost on your windshield. And that may happen for some of you. It is cold enough for that to happen. And we're going to get plenty of afternoon sunshine. Just so you know here, uh, this is much colder than yesterday. Yesterday, we saw lots of mid 40s. Now we're in the upper 30s, maybe mid 30s. And that is cold enough at the ground level to see some patchy frost out there. And we've got teens up high and 40s in the middle for Auburn, Placerville, and Sonora. Okay, so what's going to happen today? Hour by hour, it's going to be a nice day. We'll have some high wispy clouds and then lots of sunshine in the afternoon. What makes today different is that we don't have wind. So when you don't have wind, or it's at least very uh, light, and you have the sunshine, it feels good as long as you're in direct sunshine. And that's exactly what we're going to have today. So looking ahead, what about uh, maybe tomorrow? Is the wind going to come back tomorrow? Not really. We've got some gusty conditions out toward the west side of the valley, north of 80. But that's about it. It's going to be an absolutely perfect fall weather weekend. Cold in the morning, nice in the afternoon, and mild in the 60s, and no rain and no snow to speak of through this weekend. However, next week, things change. This is not a big storm, but the timing of it is not the most convenient on a traditionally busy travel day, which is the day before Thanksgiving. You could see some light showers for the foothills, snow, probably enough for chain controls for the uh, mountain passes, and just uh, maybe a few scatter light showers for other valley spots. So again, traditionally, there's a lot of travel the day before Thanksgiving. As we all know, this year is probably going to be different. Thanksgiving day and the days afterward are going to be nice, sunny, and dry. So it's just that one day, the day before Thanksgiving. Back